Uncle Tim's. It's all good. Hey, welcome to Uncle Tim's Farm. I'm Uncle Tim, and today I'm continuing to work on my mobile hydraulic boom crane that's going to be used for on-farm processing of livestock. What I'm doing here is prepping this area to be able to weld on the pivot point bracket, so I'm just grinding off the paint where I'm going to be welding. And now I'm spraying this area with some weldable primer just to help to prevent rust from getting underneath the plates when I weld them together. Alright, it's time to get this pivot point welded on here. So I'll have to get it all lined up nice and square and even on both sides and then weld it up. So you can see that I tipped it over on its side to do more welding. Lots and lots of welding. Alright, now that I've got that side welded, I'm going to scooch it over here a bit and then I'm going to turn it over to the other side and continue welding on that side. Ooh, this bugger is heavy. And it is hot out today. Whoa! Anyhow, so that's the boom pivot point. Now I need to do a little bit of figuring to get the base pivot point set up. I'm gonna let this cool off for a bit, put a little uh, primer on it, and then I'll flip it up like this, and then set the base on there and start figuring out the pivot point for that, how to get that set up so that it's just wide enough to clear on the outside of both sides because this is going to sit inside of that. <clears throat> so, Anyhow, that was a big job getting that welded together and welded on. Getting it all square on there so this boom raises up nice and square. All right, on to the next step. Here I'm again using my Evolution chop saw 
And I'll go ahead and make one cut in real time for you just so you can see how quick this thing cuts through this steel. This is 3 8 inch thick DOM tubing and it just slices right through it. Here I'm welding the tubing into the pivot points that are going to attach to the base and you'll see how this all comes together eventually. So this is the riser that the mounting brackets are going to attach to and I'm welding on a top plate to it to seal it up. Now that I've got that top plate welded on the riser, I'm going to work on the frame for the base here. I'm going to build a rectangular frame and it's going to go under that big steel plate. And that steel plate is actually what I'm using as my work surface currently. But once I get this frame built, then I will weld the plate to the top of this frame and then that riser will sit on top of it. As you can see here, I've got a little bit of everything going on to try to make sure this thing stays flat and square. I've got my fireball tool square, my fireball tool clamping pliers, and a couple of electromagnets in the other corners, and then some other clamps on the ends just to try to hold everything flat and square. And it turned out really flat and square when I was all done. Alright, I have this frame welded all together, all four corners, and it's nice and flat. I kept it clamped down 
while I was welding it to this big steel plate. And eventually that the plate will be welded on top of that. I need to put a couple of cross members, maybe just one cross member across here. Man, I think I'm going to do two because this is where the base of that and that all the weight's going to be on. The, well, yeah, the weight, the end of the boom is all going to mount on top of this plate. And then also the hydraulic cylinder will be mounted to this plate. The bottom end of the hydraulic cylinder will be mounted to this plate and then the other end will be mounted up along the boom there somewhere wherever it lines up i have to figure that out but so oh, yeah, eventually this frame and plate will be welded together but i need to put a couple more cross members in there and then i need to get the trailer up here i have it parked down the hill there out of the way for now but it's gonna have to come up here and then that frame will mount. I have some brackets that bolt on to the frame of the trailer. I'll show you that when you get to that point. But those brackets will bolt on there and then I will weld this frame to those brackets. Get it everything nice and level and then weld the frame to those brackets. And then lastly weld this plate to it because that plate's really heavy. And then along with this two inch pipe that's schedule 11 all of that together would be super heavy to muscle around so it'll be easier if i weld the frame get the frame on the brackets and then mount the plate to it and weld the plate lastly and then i can mount that the base here to the plate and then get the boom flipped over and lined up and line up the pivot point, get the pivot point for the boom welded to the base there. So it's really not a lot of welding for this whole project. It's just, it's a lot of getting all the right pieces together and then getting everything lined up and in place. This boom. I'll have to uh, get some paint thrown on there and then when it comes time to mount it I'll have to flip it over uh, so that those the brackets face down and then line it up with the bracket on that the base there and get everything to the right height and that's hopefully these two pipe stands will help me be able to hold everything at the correct level be able to get things lined up precisely Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.